This is the moment that still makes Tampa City Councilors furious. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Mayor Castor. I'm honored and humbled to stand before you as Tampa's newest police chief. Last February 8th, the mayor announced that Mary O'Connor would be her nominee for police chief. She immediately took over the department as interim. Her vision is what Tampa needs right now. Councilors officially confirmed her four to two a month later, with several concerned about an arrest from decades before. But when she resigned last month over this traffic stop... I'm hoping that you'll just let us go tonight. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, the I'm naysayers sorry. not only said, I told you so, but that the process needs to be reformed. We know the chaos we went through when we had a flawed system. And we cannot be afraid politically or whatever not to fix things. This is what this council is supposed to do. We are the governing body of the city. So today, they voted unanimously to send to the voters in March a change to city charter section 6.03. Notice it crosses out the word appoint and uses nominate. Councilors say this will require confirmation for 25 high-level officials by four of seven city councilors before they take office. And it would only allow current employees interim status for six months. I don't see this strong-arming or tying the hands of the mayor or, again, if I were in that position, I would say it's a checks and balances system. But the mayor, who declined an on-camera interview Thursday, has previously said she strongly opposes changes to the charter. But today, she said in a statement, she believes the public deserves a thoughtful and deliberative process for amending the charter. She will carefully review the proposals and discuss them with each council member before deciding how she will proceed. City Hall also warns this move could make it less likely to recruit talented people from outside the city because they couldn't start until after confirmation. This moment, I am honored and humbled to stand before you, may have lasting consequences for how the city operates. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. So the mayor has two weeks to sign or veto this measure. If it is vetoed, five councilors could override that veto. Well, seven voted in favor today. It would appear on the March 7th ballot along with races for mayor and council.